Uh, no, actually, I'm not kidding. So we are going to be talking about the best perks for the Heartbreaker because, uh, well, as you do, I was hanging out on Fortnite DB, which is something I'm enjoying more and more because I find stuff like this. Uh, you know, the fact that the cleaner, that insanely strong sniper limited only by its unchangeable three second reload speed was outclassed by the crossbows. Uh, yes, indeed. If you look at my video right here, I am doing about 107,000 and I copied my loadout exactly comparing it to the Heartbreaker and I know that it has a damn damage perk and they're not totally gold so it's not an apples to apples comparison but once that damage perk is taken away and you add the uh, the five percent back to the fire it will be doing you know one more damage point more and that is really really interesting now of course that is a base damage point so it's not you know completely what this says right here but it's base damage is 316 compared to 315 so beast 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 what does all of this mean it's been a minute and you've only talked about numbers well the crossbows are insanely strong let me explain a lot of you probably thought they sucked uh they did. They have been terrible since release. They are a joke of a weapon that is something you should have discarded and was completely terrible. Even when it re-released, I didn't do a best perks video because it was so bad that I, I just didn't even bother and nobody was mad at me for it. But you can see in the 12.0 update, they literally doubled its damage, which I honestly saw and thought, this is not going to help anything. You're never going to save these weapons. And that's what everybody else thought. But we took another look at it and we found out that both crossbows being able to pierce, they are identical, by the way. I just want to get that out of the way right now. They are the same. I'll th scroll through this slowly. I'll link both of these below if you want to check them out. The only thing of note is that the uh, the Heartbreaker does seem to be the better one, and that is why it has taken the thumbnail and the title from this video, and that is that six perk just gives you a 30% bonus just by aiming down the sights. And while it does show a ridiculous amount of six perks for the normal crossbow, it's my understanding that the five headshots in a row is the only one that you can get. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. But if you are limited to that six perk of five headshots in a row, then the Heartbreaker is definitely a winner. If they add that 30% weapon damage to aiming down the sights, then the normal crossbow will be just as well. They're the exact same stats other than the six perks, so now that that's out of the way, let's talk about what's going on. After we found out that they had such a major damage increase, we decided to give it a go, and there's an interesting thing to note here, and that is that the cleaner, like I mentioned, has an insanely slow reload. It does pierce enemies, which is cool and all, but with the crossbows, you can actually shoot pretty quickly. Uh, without a fire rate perk, they have about a .55 fire rate, but you're never really going to want to use it as your sole primary, and that's why for much of the gameplay in this video thank you to choo choo suggestion and thank you to him for dropping me this schematic he couldn't quite afford to max out these perks he has actually been afking endurance so he can probably shoot me a better copy of this now but it was his suggestion to dual wield these just like we did the brow beater that's kind of a fantastic weapon if you guys have never uh, gone double pump as they used to say uh from br you can just basically double the fire rate of a weapon by switching between it and if they never patch that then this is going to be a great strategy if they do in the future then i'm sorry but suffice it to say right now or at least in this video we were able to use two of these back to back to back to back just switching off between every shot and it's not even that slow to just use one as your primary and with being able to pierce multiple enemies believe it or not i never thought in a million years i would be speaking these words a crossbow is a decent encampment weapon what? It blows my mind too, but it is hitting for over 100,000 damage in a team, about 170,000. My loadout is doing a lot for that. Its crits are insane. Uh, you can crit for well into the hundreds of thousands. A million damage is pretty consistent. We were bullying chrome husks at the end because when you're doing that much damage, your impact is stupid. I was just knocking around one of the strongest enemies in the game like it was nothing. If you're watching this in the future and chrome husks aren't a thing, they are basically just a beefed up normal husky husk. So they just have a ton of health and you can only kill them with fire or water so in this example they are basically the baddest of the bad they are literally stronger than a smasher in a lot of cases in a lot of respects i should say and we're just knocking them around like they're nothing and the crossbows are handling them with ease you can't shoot through a shielder husk and you can't shoot through the riot huskies which i think is fair this isn't a xenon bow it doesn't go through everything but it can pierce multiple enemies so it doesn't pierce environmental objects but it does enemies and it makes it a very very effective weapon for crowd control now of course there is bullet drop on this so it's not exactly apples to apples to the cleaner uh, your projectile is going over a range it is dropping over time so that scope isn't perfect it will not go exactly where you shoot it you do have to lead your shots but that's okay i think uh 95 of the fights in save the world happen within about six to seven tiles away regardless so run up to your enemies just get nice and close and make sure you don't miss your shots because again seeing as you're shooting a projectile you are going to have to lead your shots here and there but regardless if you can get around all that and you get used to using this it will hit like a freaking truck all of my praise aside let's get into what the actual best perks for this thing are because 
because there are certainly a few ways to spec it, especially considering that things may change in the future. We're gonna have to move on to my lowly schematic, which I haven't quite powered up yet, but you can bear with me that I could max this out if I wanted. So you can see we've already got a 300% crit damage, and that's just because I have Rabbit Raider Jonesy in my lead, but that is to say that it does have a 75% crit damage. So you can see that in-game, we actually did opt to go for a crit build, which is what I want to talk about. This weapon has one of the craziest headshot multipliers in the game, uh, very similar to the cleaner, and the problem that I had with this, and one of the reasons I didn't actually make a Best Perks video, is if you saw in this video upon release, which is actually worth noting if you guys haven't seen that hero or that weapon, you might want to check it out, but uh, the headshot doesn't seem to work. I did not test this fully in-game. I tried to get some footage of it when we were testing it, you know, getting you guys the gameplay on screen now, but I couldn't really tell a difference, and I genuinely don't know if that headshot damage actually works. If this is fixed in the future or right now, comment below, and if it's fixed, I'll, I'll give you some perks right now, but I am not aware that this is actually working right now. So in the future, if it is working, then you could totally go like reload and then damage, and then literally there's only one headshot perk on here. I highly recommend using this if the headshot perk is fixed and you are somebody who kind of has the accuracy to take advantage of it. Obviously, if you're a casual player or you're a console player and you're not really looking to try that hard, then you probably don't want to go headshot on this. Uh, damage, double damage even, uh, fire rate headshot might be the most comfortable build. You'll be popping off a lot of shots. You wouldn't have to switch between two of them. Obviously, if you are switching between two of these, then headshot might slow you down a bit and might defeat the purpose of actually switching between the two because you're going to have to line up your shots. My point is, roll headshot if you're ready to handle like the amount of extra work it's going to take to actually hit a headshot. For a normal build, there are a couple of options. As always, I am a fan of triple damage because this is a crossbow. It's not firing very fast. You are hitting multiple enemies, so you're going to have multiple chances to crit, and that's why we went with crit, as you could see. But honestly, if you want to roll triple damage on this, there's really not a lot wrong with that. You could even go fire rate, double damage, and make this a very, very quicker firing, more consistent loadout. That would be very, very comfortable, and it might be what I do if I ever level this thing up because we had a lot of fun playing with this and this might be an all gold weapon for me in the future. I'm really excited that this weapon is actually usable. You don't need a mag size. So this is a lot like shotguns in the sense that uh, you're basically just delaying the inevitable. This weapon shoots pretty slowly and one at a time. So if you put a mag size perk on this, that three second reload time is really going to eat you alive. And uh, unlike the cleaner, we actually do have a reload perk, which I highly recommend it. Uh, it made it very, very easy to use. Durability and weapon stability are completely useless. That extra damage perk is nice. If you really don't mind a three second reload, which you're an insane person, you can go the damage perk, but as I've probably displayed at this point, you do not need any more damage on this thing. So my blanket recommendation is reload, damage, and, and then a crit build. And that's because you're kind of shooting a lot of shots in the way that we dual wielded it. We were going back and forth, back and forth, and it hit pretty hard. And most enemies, as per usual, I like to say in my videos that you are going to be hitting the miss monsters two or three times to kill them, even with a damage build. So in that time, on average, you would have likely crit by then anyway so it's kind of just an okay way to go if you want to just run crit on this uh, and as i said when you're shooting through multiple enemies at once each individual one of them will have their own opportunities to crit so if you're shooting four enemies at once on average one of them's gonna crit and if you're shooting normal enemies you're not gonna need the crit because the thing is already hitting for so much damage and that pretty much covers all my bases you could do some super fun builds like double reload double damage that would probably be the best way to like use one of these or probably reload fire rate double damage would be like the quickest way to you know cover all this thing's bases um you can run crit i don't love it but you know that's definitely the highest dps if you want to go that route headshot if you think you can handle it and then there are a lot of options on here so you can pretty much do whatever you want if you're somebody whose ears really perked up when uh, i mentioned the impact you can roll an impact perk on this this is fantastic for knocking enemies around but uh that's not personally something i've ever found any use for and then of course finally the element is pretty much up to you energy will work all around uh, i am recording this on june 27th so chrome husk are a thing and nature missions are very common and that's where I recommend fire but assuming this is not true in the future as it shouldn't be energy will be the best all around I'll link my elements guide in the description below if you guys want to look into that further and that just about wraps it up so yeah I just spent 10 minutes talking about the heartbreaker bow and it wasn't a sarcastic video this weapon is actually insanely good right now and if it suits your play style I highly recommend going for it because we had a lot of fun and uh, at the very end of this I don't usually do this in my videos I do kind of want to talk about the loadout as it is pretty relevant and I've never made a sniper loadout video. I do want to mention one major thing that I know I'm going to get questions about. The Heartbreaker crossbow does not count as a bow. Stoneheart Pharaoh will not help this weapon at all. I'm sorry. It's just 
it's just the case. If they change this in the future, I'll pin a comment below. But as of now, you cannot use this like a bow. It is completely different. You could see I'm using Rabbit Raider Jones in the lead. That's not really what I uh, ended up going with in the end. I think uh, Redline Ramirez is probably your better option because that fire rate helps a ton. And that 17% damage is, is nice just regardless. But the fire rate is really what we're going for. You can go Rabbit Raider Jonesy in the lead if you really want to go all in on crits. I didn't really think we needed that much extra crit damage and I didn't want to be relying on crits. So I put him in the support and I did not regret it. As for, you know, other things like Locked and Reloaded, you're not reloading that often, you don't really need this, but I couldn't really think of any other hero that would just blanket buff your damage in general. This does have a lot of options though, so Redline Ramirez and Jonesy are fantastic with their abilities. You can run something that buffs Warcry, buff your Shockwave damage, uh, they did add that new hero, whatever his name was, where you can actually buff your Shockwave damage, that might be nice, you know, run High Tide in this and smack a bunch of enemies, that would actually help quite a bit with crowd control, because if, you know, crossbows are your main weapon, then being able to, you know, smack the with the shockwave and impact a lot of them all at once could be a very nice thing to have and that is indeed something you might want to go for regardless though this weapon is going to be good kind of no matter what you use but this is pretty much the components of the loadout that i use and uh any configuration of that is probably going to be a good way to go if you guys want to support the channel feel free to use code mr to check out you know become a member right here if you guys want to get some nice perks in the stream chats and roles in our discord stuff like that hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching and uh have a nice day <laughs> And then...